Good morning. Got a bit of a challenge today. My stepmum has requested a trail running route with lots of elevation gain in it. Um, so we're going to go do that. I think it's about 750 meters, hopefully, which is more than I've ever done. So this might not be much of a run. This might be more of a fast hike. <laughs> But that's the plan, we're going to run up um, towards Sea Ledge, but then we're not going to go along Sea Ledge, we're going to go the other way. Um, and then work our way towards Edale, back up to Ringing Roger, and then go towards Mad Woman Stones, and then kind of come back down and make our way back to Snake Road and back to the Hope Woodland Car Park where we're starting from. So it should be about 16 kilometres in total, um, and we'll see how it goes. Should be interesting, it's a very good day. Might get a little bit warm up there, but there's a bit of a breeze, so shouldn't get too hot. And I'll catch up with you later. All right, just having a free run, um, wild wheeze, <laughs> and then we'll get started. Yeah, so 16 kilometers, 750 meters of elevation is the plan. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Um, it's a route I've not run before, so we might get a little bit lost, but hopefully. down a bit <laughs> so we're gonna we we'll just cross Fairbrook and we're gonna work our way up towards Sea Ledge this is the path that comes down from kind of the end of Sea Ledge and then once we're up there we'll make a left and then across the peat bog kind of in the direction of ringing Roger so I might have to check back in at the top <laughs> already hiking <laughs> but the views are good <laughs> so for some clarification Ruth lives around Newark area and her average run has max 20 meters of elevation in it <laughs> So, he's enlisted my assistance to try and hit an elevation gain target for a little challenge she's doing. So that's why we're dragging ourselves up more elevation than either of us have done before. <laughs> Super sensible. <laughs> okay, getting to the top of the first ascent. Fairbrook Nays over there. This is Derwent Edge. And we are officially. Ah, if I can get over the style. Is that electric, isn't it? Yeah, that's a terrible style. Is it just electric fence? No, it's not electric fence. <laughs> we are now on the Kinder Plateau officially. But the quiet side of it. So we're going to get to the top of our ascent and then might be able to run for a bit. <laughs> Ascent number two, we just had quite a steep, tricky um, descent to deal with and then we just come along a bit of fairly busy path and now we're going up, back up towards Ringing Roger but not along the main path so it should be quieter but a lot muddier. <laughs> My feet are getting a bit wet. All right, let's concentrate on this climb.
got our two big ascents out of the way in the first half of the route. Um, so the second half is just kind of fairly easy going in elevation terms. We've got sort of some undulations, but nothing crazy. Uh, they say coming to a really steep bit down to a stream. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's pretty much easy running in terms of elevation until we get back to the car. So, yeah, that's all the exertion out of the way. Hopefully we can get some speed up. We're in the last three kilometres. Just got this nice wood chipped trail to run along. So we're running next to the River Ashup. I think that's what it's called. Uh, we can hear Snake Road and the cars on it. So we've got to run along here for a bit longer and then we'll kind of cross over Snake Road up ahead and uh, kind of run up a track the other side back to Hope Woodland Car Park. So yeah, this last bit is just, just going to be easy going. Nothing to worry about. Shouldn't be any navigational problems. <laughs> Hopefully. But yeah, it's been good. Once we got past the two ascents, we've been flying really. We did the first uh, half in over two hours, and we've just been like taking off the kilometres at the rate of knots since we finished the second big ascent so yeah it's been good all right catch up with you in a bit nearly done we're just um definitely past the point where either of us are able to run up hills at all um, so any slight incline is just down to walking speed but we're nearly at the end snack I've got in the car. Ooh, a black sheep. Adorable. It's nearly done. I'm just going to walk the last bit to kind of cool off and have a good old stretch and a snack and recover. Ah, it's been good though. Enjoyed it. I've not uh, tried to do that much ascent in one run, so it's been uh, interesting to kind of see how that went. Obviously, didn't run any of the ascent, but oh well. We are getting close to the car. We've just been walking up, make sure the legs are all properly cooled down, and then we'll have a big stretch once we get back um, we're just walking along the course of an old roman road at the minute which is pretty cool but i'm going to sign off here so thank you for watching if you've watched to the end um probably be more videos a bit like this happening more often that's why i try and get up into the peaks for a bit more training so there's loads to look forward to. So yeah, hit subscribe if you're interested in running stuff. Okay, my brain's gone sparko, so I'm gonna go. Catch you next time.